Okay, so I found this interesting program that I thought I'd share with you, and what it is it's called Tube Miter. Uh, one word, .exe, you can look it up. Uh, I got it off an Australian site, but it's available at a couple of different places. And what it'll do is you input the diameter of the tube, unfortunately in metric, wall thickness, and the angle it's meeting another tube and the size of the other tube, and it'll uh, draw you a little uh, template you can cut out and uh, tape to your piece of tubing, you know, and, uh, and grind the shape of the miter into it. So there's an example of the one that uh, I'm going to do to this one. It's meeting another tube that's going uh, across this way like that. And uh, it's the same diameter, so it's about like that. Probably not quite 100% centered in there, but it uh, looks like it'll be a good uh, good little, uh, little uh, uh, utility, basically. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So this is that mainframe. I'm going to cut the two miters in this one. I'm going to cut it to length before I worry about the, you know, trying to do the miter. I'm going to try and just, you know, cut it at an angle like that and like that and see how we go. Um, maybe I'll go and grab my uh, my uh, chop saw. That's a little quicker at that than any of the other tools. In any case, I'll do this one. Then I'll, uh, I'll miter this one here. And then I'll weld it all together, and then I'll we'll look at uh, making my brackets for my, uh, uh, you know, uh, flange bearings. Okay, so I've used a variety of things to uh, fish melt the tubes. I cut the tubes to length with that. I tried using that, but it was just too clunky for such a big piece of metal. Uh, and uh, ground it out with that one. And to make the tube fit a little bit better, I took the uh, scrap piece and I pounded it in there pretty good. And the clearances are probably about uh, under an eighth of an inch, certainly. Probably closer to a sixteenth, so it's not too, too bad. Um, I suppose I should check to see that these uh, are the same length. <laughs> well, they look pretty close. <laughs> Anyways, so next step is to do this piece. It's going to be a little bit harder because uh, I don't have as definite a place to to cut it than on that one. So we'll see how we go here. There you go, that's the base. Um, everything is uh, fit together uh, quite nicely. That fish mouthing stuff or software actually worked quite well. Um, it's probably a little bit sprung outwards at, uh, at this end, the outer piece. And uh, this piece I need to pull inwards a bit, but that's fine. I'll just use a, a big uh, pipe clamp. But uh, otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how it's, uh, how it's looking here. Um, I'm going to shine everything up with a wire wheel. This is galvanized, and I was looking for some muriatic acid to take off the galvanizing, and I couldn't find any, so I'm just going to have to grind it off. Because obviously, uh, galvanizing, welding galvanizing is... Well, it can make you sick anyways. You know, it's not a good thing to inhale. So I'm going to um, pull the pieces apart, uh, tack them, or well, actually sand everything off, tack them, and, uh, and then I'll uh, go from there. I'm just trying to decide if I want to put a crosswise piece, you know, like, like that, either one or two. Uh, that'll be a lot more work, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to need something to support the seat, so, you know, like there's going to have to be some kind of cross piece. But I might go a little bit uh, easier than that. We'll see. I think what I might do, is actually, you know what I'm going to do, is just, just for the satisfaction, I'm going to um, tack it all together or maybe even finish weld it together. Because I think once it's tacked, unless I see something tweaked, I'm not going to likely to change anything from here. And then I'm going to work up my uh, brackets. For the flange bearings and then I can have the wheels on and then this thing I can sit on it and see how the balance is going to be because with this piece hanging out the front even with that big battery and a couple of motors hanging off the back might be a little bit not balancey you know and it is a fairly heavy frame anyways I'm rambling two minutes I'll cut this off okay so I use the TIG welder to tack uh, this a bit eh okay weld I uh, had a bit of soot so either I hadn't cleaned it off very well, or I think I was getting contamination from inside the tube that was boiling off and doing this. But I also, I got the door wide open, as you can see, things are waving around, and I'm probably losing some of my shielding gas. 
So I'm going to have to close the door and, uh, and I'll tack the opposite side and then I'll fully weld uh, it. I'll swap around so that I don't overheat the thing and, and warp it after I went and I, I got the spring out of it. <laughs> okay, there we go. All uh, welded. I'll show you my welds even though they're not the best. You know, I did a uh, quarter of a turn on each joint at a time and I swapped around. Then I flipped it to the other side, started at the other cooler end and worked my way back. So, I don't know if it's still... Uh, it's really hard to tell because I'm just seeing just brightness in the, uh, in the thing here, but it looks like it's fairly flat. Still as flat as it was, some of these tubes were a little bent. So, now the next step is to make my brackets for the uh, flanges and, uh, and go from there. I had to open the door after I finished welding because I uh, just need some fresh air in here. Even though I cleaned everything off, there was a little bit of, you could see it almost like a white residue uh, everywhere, so I know I probably inhaled a little bit of galvanizing, which is not too brilliant a thing. Anyways, let's go and cut some steel. Okay, I thought I'd give you guys a quick laugh. Um, everything looks fine. Uh, I was just sizing up the tires. Tires fit fine. Uh, lift the frame up to where about the level where I'd want it to be. And I was trying to decide if I wanted flange bearings to be above the frame or below the frame. And then it suddenly occurred to me that it doesn't, until I weld on the armrest, it's, I can flip it either way so I can decide at any time. So just one of those weird thoughts that enters your head and then you realize, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm going to cut my pieces and uh, drill them out and get them ready to go and uh, weld these brackets on. By the, definitely by the end of today, unless I get sick, uh, heavy metal poisoning, uh, uh, this will be largely done. I don't know if I'll have the armrests on, but we'll see how we go here. Well, there are all the uh, brackets for the flange bearings all done. I just clamped them all together because I'm going to try and sand the uh, contours about the same and round off the corners and all that fun stuff. But I seem to have outsmarted myself. I know I said I'd, uh, I'd have this thing on its wheels uh, before end of day today, and I would, except I outsmarted myself. And I don't have enough 716 bolts. And in order for me to <clears throat> align this stuff properly, I need about a four foot piece of three quarter inch rod or drill rod or, or uh, threaded rod even would have, would have worked uh, to uh, basically put through the tires and these uh, flange bearings you know, while they're bolted to this so that I could actually have it all being aligned and that would ensure that you know, I didn't have toe in, toe out, or, or I didn't dog track as I drove along. So, I'm kind of stuck there at 7 o'clock on Sunday night. Not too much open now. Um, that piece is only 3 feet long, so it's not quite long enough to do it. I could do one side at a time, but uh, that's not really the way I want to do it. I might as well wait one day. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of hardware tomorrow. And... Uh, and uh, then I can, uh, I can, you know, at least put that part of it together. Now those probably won't be on tomorrow night, but you know, like at least it'll be on its wheels tomorrow night. Anyways, I think uh, unless I end up showing you what these things look like, I think that's what uh, uh, that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching, guys. And uh, this thing should be rolling before the end of this week, like like with power. Although I'm missing it. Oh, there's another thing I got to order. I need a charger for the big battery over here. So I've got to order one of those from uh, Yard Works. See if I can get one of those. Right, cat? There you go. Happy? Uh, oh, now we got a dog coming in here. He wants some attention. There you go. That's it for today, guys. Thanks. Close enough? <laughs> Later, guys.